in Matthew, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 21, we have what we call um, the triumphal entry. This is which, when Jesus uh, rode on the back of a donkey um, from the Mount of Olives and into the city. This had been prophesied centuries before. Um, his disciples and many others put their, their coats and palm branches making a carpet on the road leading into the gate of Jerusalem um, on which Jesus rode. And they cried out, Hosanna, which is save us. Hosanna to the son of David, which was um, calling Jesus the Messiah. The son of David was their term or, or a term. We believe this man is the Messiah. This is at the time of the Passover, and it happens to be um, the third Passover during Jesus' three years of ministry. It's the final one. What no one else except Jesus knew, within about five days, they would, maybe some of the same people who cried, Hosanna, son of David, would be crying, crucify him. But Jesus enters Jerusalem, and the entire city, it says, it would be crowded with pilgrims who've come for the Passover feast to get prepared for it. Yet the whole city, it says, was stirred by the sound of these people that were crying, Hosanna, son of David. And they asked, a question and it's another one of these it's another one of these questions I wrote down of great questions asked in the Bible when Jesus comes into the city it said the whole city was stirred and the multitude asked who is this who's this man riding on a donkey who is this now I want to make the point that this is a fake question. And I think lots of times people ask this fake question as if they don't know who Jesus really is. I recognize that there are many that have to have light on who Jesus is, but the Holy Spirit's faithful to bring that to us and to open our eyes and our hearts. And especially here with these people of Jerusalem, Jesus had been ministering for three years. Everything he did, raising the dead, healing the blind, healing the deaf, healing lepers, feeding the 5,000, feeding the 4,000, all the things that Jesus did had gone throughout the whole land of Israel. He was spoken of at every Passover, every feast, three times a year. When they gathered together, people would ask, will he be here? He always was. He would preach. He would make an appearance. He would stir up controversy by what he said. So after three years of watching Jesus, knowing what he was doing, and the, the things he did that could only be done by God, for them to ask, who is this, is a lie. It's a pretension that I don't have enough information to make a decision on Jesus. It's a lie. We do the same thing. We want to stall off, procrastinate, push off to a later date, doing something with Christ, determining I'm for him or I'm against him. I believe or I don't believe. And so we often hide behind, well, this is so complex. There's so much I don't understand. It's just so difficult. It's such a deep subject, this whole religion thing. Well, what about the fact that all kinds of religions say they're true, they can't all be true, and we get, we get into all this that makes it very complex, which is nothing but a fake excuse to avoid facing into, I must, I must do something about my soul and God's call to me, and this man Jesus, 
who always stirs up the whole city. He stirs up the whole world. Jesus himself said, I didn't come to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. I came to divide. I came, and because of me, he said, people will be turned against each other, mothers against daughters, fathers against sons, friends against friends. Jesus is the most divisive figure in all of history. We therefore can never beg off by saying, well, I don't know who this is. We know. He's made it clear. Father, thank you for light, truth, that we cannot avoid. Once again, another illustration of how faithful you are to bring the truth to us and help us understand it. In Jesus' name, 